Good morning. Uh, we see another type of uh, different type of problem in pentagonal lamina. So you can see in this question, a pentagonal lamina of dimension 25 is having a side both on HP and VP. Okay, we have to make sure that uh, one of the side has to touch both the HP plane and VP plane. Uh, okay, so that's what the condition. The corner opposite to the side on which it rest is 15 mm above hp that means it is uh, indicating the second position so drawing a 15 mm line and drawing the locus so you can construct the second position so you can see in this question they are mentioning we have to make sure that one of the edge has to be there in the hp plane and one of the edge has to be there in the bp plane so you can see with respect to the condition i have drawn the edge ab it is resting on the hp plane okay and second angle of inclination is there with respect to 15 mm above hp now the third position we have to go with this condition a side has to be there on both on hp and vp now the side ab it is already there in the hp plane we have to make sure this ab plane has to be there in vp how to do that we will take this ab edge and uh, has to touch the xy line by touching this ab edge touching the xy line we are making sure this ab edge it is touching the vp plane okay first i will take a reference point of B here. From B to A. So this is the length. So we have to transpose this diagram with respect to B A. So these two lengths will be same. Okay. No reverse it is okay so reverse we have to touch it so after this we have to transfer the diagram measuring this length e to d so this length is exactly equal to okay so this is c this is d and this is e so join all these points So now projecting upward, we can complete the rest of the diagram. So we have B dash and A dash here. Okay. And similarly we have this is C dash, this is E dash and this point is D dash. So this is how we complete the problem. You can see that we have to make sure the side both on HP and HP, HP VP means the side it is there in the HP plane. Okay. Now we are making it touching the VP plane. Okay. Good morning all. So in this video we are going to construct a pentagonal lamina. And uh, here angle of inclination to HP given 60 degree. And we are going to place that uh, edge resting on the XY line. That is a side having both on HP and VB. Uh, it's like a special type problem in uh, pentagonal lamina. Okay, first uh, we are going to construct x XY line and we write VP, HP, XY. Here, uh, thick thickness of XY line I consider 0.25 and the font size of the text it is 5. Okay, I'll go to Polygon by center, I will select 5 sides 
thickness 0.50 mm and constructing with respect to it okay try to construct with a smaller pentagon so that you can able to construct it easily okay whether it is a pentagon or hexagon try to construct with a smaller one and then you can change the dimensions uh, write the naming for it actually in the solution book uh, they have did wrong because they have given angle of inclination 60 but they have used that uh, distance 15 mm uh, locus distance okay actually that is a mistake there okay for the front view i'll be constructing with the splitted view here joining for the intermittent distance and then writing the notations here select the front view go to move command creates a copy and then slide along the line okay sliding along the line is important okay so otherwise you're going to miss it you can see here inclination to hp given 60 degree so go to rotate and select the end points here then give an inclination of 60 degree here go to angle between Okay, draw the projection line downward to complete the second position top view here. Horizontally also draw the projection lines. So write the namings for this top view. Okay, connect these uh, points with the thick line. Okay. Now we have to make this resting edge uh, resting on the XY line. Okay. So go to move command, create a copy and select the end point A here. Place it on the XY line. Then rotate, selecting end point A and B. Then place it. Okay. Draw the projection line support to complete the final position. So you can subscribe for the channel and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications and share it to the maximum students so that they can be benefited from this. So A, B you are getting on that X, Y line only that is A dash, B dash. Write the same thing. Now connect it with the thick line. Okay, this completes the problem. Okay, thank you for watching the video. And trim it off this extra unnecessary lines here using trim command. Thank you all. Thank you for watching the video.